Well, it looks like the UK isn't alone in dealing with a migrant crisis anymore. Now, the European Union is finding itself in hot water as it struggles with the same issue. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen is under growing pressure. Why? Because only one in five illegal migrants ordered to leave the EU actually get deported. The rest, they remain inside the bloc. To tackle this, von der Leyen has proposed setting up return hubs outside the EU, similar to a deal between Italy and Albania, where migrants are sent to deportation centres. Sound familiar? It's a lot like the UK's scrapped Rwanda policy. So, here's the question. Was Keir Starmer too quick to scrap the UK's Rwanda scheme? Absolutely. Since then, more than 27,500 people have crossed the channel this year alone, and next year, over 60,000 people, many of them from those crossings, are expected to be granted asylum in the UK. With the Rwanda plan off the table, that's even more pressure on our NHS, schools and public services. And by Labour's own admission, the Rwanda plan had already cost £700 million. But without it, those crossing the channel are no longer facing immediate deportation. Even Ireland's Deputy Prime Minister Michael Martin noticed that the threat of being deported to Rwanda deterred some migrants, who instead chose to cross into Ireland from Northern Ireland. So, it was working as a deterrent. But now, what's the deterrent? What's stopping these illegal crossings? Unfortunately, nothing serious at the moment. And while Keir Starmer talks tough, it doesn't seem like his words are striking fear into the hearts of the human traffickers making millions off this crisis. Let's be clear. Immigration, when done legally and safely, can be a good thing. Many migrants come here and contribute positively to society. But we need controlled, legal routes for those genuinely seeking asylum, not open back doors that overwhelm our system. Now, Starmer labelled the Rwanda scheme immoral, but we need to consider this. In 2024, at least 50 people have tragically lost their lives attempting to cross the channel, including children and infants. It's heart-wrenching. It's clear that scrapping the Rwanda policy without an effective alternative wasn't the answer. If we want to prevent these senseless deaths and reduce the strain on our public services, we need real, workable solutions. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want more insights on the migrant crisis and UK politics, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.